Swat by Chantal Harris. Switzerland of the East. That is the nickname for the Swat Valley in northeastern Pakistan. The beauty of everyday life in this rural area is self-evident in these images taken by Saeed Bukhari for his article, Swat, A Beautiful Tragedy. This crop-rich area is encircled by mountains and dissected by the Swat River. The harvest is a time of plenty. The fruits of the labor are bountiful. Yet some of those fruits are more rewarding than others. Children have returned to recreational activities and laughter. Swimming and trips across the river with their families now replace the nightmares of just a few short years ago. Girls can go out with their heads uncovered. Women are able to return to work again, although many of them keep covered. This is a stark contrast to the mandates and bloodbath spread by in Minyora by Mulana Fazula, the radio Mula. When Fazula and his cohorts took over the airwaves of SWAT in 2007, people blindly followed his rhetoric, catapulting him to power and destabilizing the region. This is how these militants work, said a friend of Malala Yousafzai. They want to win the hearts and the minds of the people, so they first see the local problems and target those responsible. That way they get the support of the silent majority. When they get power, they behave like the criminals they once hunted down. Through service after the earthquake and expedited dispute settlements in local Shura courts, Fazula and the Taliban caught the people. Next came the edicts and public killings. Women must be covered, only leaving the house accompanied by a male relative. Furthermore, women were to stop working and going to school immediately. The edicts and killings ushered in a Robespierrean era, leaving 80,000 schoolgirls uneducated and terrified, police decapitated in the town square, and 1.6 million refugees, and boys being indoctrinated into militant schools. Boys in poor families are recruited and promised free food, education, and shelter. Some schools even offer a stipend. When asked about this practice, one mufti declares, No matter how many Muslims die, we will never run out of sacrificial lambs. The targeting of women and girls made heads turn when 15-year-old Malala Yousafzai, a women's education advocate, was shot by the Taliban. Malala's survival created a new platform for Pakistani women. From 2009 to 2014, the Taliban's pull over SWAT waxed and waned. The government keeps them at bay with local militias and campaigns. 2009's Operation Ra'i Rast retook much of Minyora, killing 1,200 militants, shaking the Taliban's stronghold on SWAT. This night view of Minyora depicts a peaceful scene. One man said, Before we were scared of them, our education system was totally down, because when you would go to school, every morning there would be a man lying with his head cut and thrown by the Taliban on the road. Now, we can just focus on living normally. Fashion and demand for new styles has risen quickly in SWAT since the ousting of the Taliban. Now we want to dress like the people of Punjab, said Abi, 19, referring to the eastern province that includes Lahore. We want to make ourselves look like models, and the hairstyles from magazines like developed people. Residents are enjoying entertainment and tastes of technology. A 3D motion ride is a hot attraction. Everyone had been very depressed, but now people just want to have fun, said Saeed Ahmad, 36, who owns the motion rider. In SWAT, life is adjusting, realigning with pre-Taliban peace. While there is still fear in the shadows, many more people are stepping into the light to live in the sun. SWAT and Pakistan is on the road to recovery.